Welcome ladies and gentlemen, call me the dream believer because that's who I am and welcome back to Leyline. Mmm, mm, animes, animes, I love them. By the way, I, I got a question for you. What do you think is better at night? This or this? So do you think this is, too bright? this is too bright? I don't know, what do you think? So, but we continue. By the way, this game is amazing. Oh, this music is already... Beautiful, beautiful. However, she looks back and forth between us. Now, no, no longer must you love something like like this uh, to make you scared or flustered. She's talking about the mirror from the last time. If you remember, if you watched it um, from now on. Oh, that principal was her friend, you too. But when she said reinforcements, correct? Reinforcements? She mentioned, she mentioned no names, but since you you are walking together in the school this late in the day? She mentioned no names, but since you you are walking together in and considering that you two are responsible for what happened to the bronze statue, I concluded that she was referring to you. Hmm. The, the principal not explain anything to you? <laughs> the answer. <laughs> She's like, did she explain something? He's like, okay. <laughs> okay, well. She furrows her brow, her brow and sighs deeply. It does seem that the two of you are ob oblivious to everything. Sorry. All she told us was to follow the map and go. Where? There. Where? Here. Uh, wanting me to back him up, Omara looks my way and I give him a nod. We haven't heard about anything else. My heart is finally quieting down. I answer while making an effort to hide my own discomfort and she shrugs her shoulders. I see, she's the same as always. Um, you're ni Ushio. The second year student. The second year. As I thought she's an upperclassman. Her polite speech made me think that she might have been a first year like us. Ah, I'm Karasuma Kotaro, and he's Kogamichiro. So what exactly happened just now? Her expression turns serious, and she then proceeds to say something outrageous. Magic still exists at this school. Magic? That mirror was one instance of it. Maru and I took it. Uh, Maru and I look at each other, unable to understand her words. Could you maybe be a bit more? Night is about to fall. Interrupting my question, she looks out of the window as if to watch the sky. You will be able to witness the real magic very soon. So, opposed to what you saw just now. Real magic? The bell? Is that coming from the clock tower? Yes. The bell hadn't rung at all until now. So always when the bell is ringing, night time is coming. Okay. So this is what it sounds like. Why are, why, are, why are they asking for it? Why are students forced to return to the dorms once school ends? Why does disciplinary committee patrol the school with such great care? What do you think? There is but one simple answer. There is something that regular students must not know about. 
no matter what. So does it mean that the students, so that the students that are at night time at a school, that they all of them are mages, does it mean that we are also mage? Could it be? Could it be? We have a hidden power for sure. We have an unknown power that we don't know yet. And uh, Kotaro, I guess, I guess, I guess also. Night is falling. There she is again. It's time. Jizen is space time even the will of God. The great spell will activate right here now. The time has come for you to appear the realm of night and all who inhabit it. <laughs> you scared like always. I feel a floating sensation from my feet and Omaru scared out of his mind thanks to me. The, the ground is shaking but the building isn't moving. I get the sensation that my body being suspended in another dimension. And then through the window I can see the night expanding and closing in on us. Waves of darkness engulf us and stars appear in the sky above. Is that is what you mean when you said that night would be falling? Yeah. No. This is nothing more than a prelude. This is just a prelude? As if the response to my shock, the night wavers and pulses in time with the ring bell. The ringing bell. It shines like an aurora and a new scene begins to unfold the likes of which I have never seen before. Can you see that? That is the realm of night. The recesses of the night bring forth a new landscape that expands along the aurora. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks different. Oh, it's def it looks definitely different. Oh, it's shiny, shiny. Nice. I love the instrumental from those kind of games. Amazing, just amazing. I'm at a complete loss for words. Before I knew it, that scenario had settled and become an entire world. Yeah, it looks so. Uh, it looks different. It looks. It looks different for sure. What in the? I look around at our transformed surroundings. Omaru's eyes are similar, wide in astonishment. We have not been relocated. This is exactly the same spot where we were standing in earlier. But everything's completely different. Come with me. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. I mean, I'm talking about the uh, animation, how she's walking. Oh, I like that. The sounds and. Oh, this is. This is some. This is some something that I, I hope they make more of those. She begins to us and starts walking. Still astounded, we quickly rush to follow her. What's happened to the school? This academy is connected by magic to the realm of night. When the bell on the clock tower sounds. It appears and fuses with this school building. What the heck is the realm of night? The world that only exists at night. It is something like the other side of the world we normally see. I don't get it. 
neither. So when that bell rings, this place turns into another world? No matter how I look at it, everything's changed from, from before. The next thing I know, we reach the end of the hallway. Shadows of people in the entrance turn out to be unfamiliar students wearing unfamiliar uniforms. Ohayo. Morning! Ohayo gozaimasu! Good morning! They enter the building while exchanging greetings. We morning? Morning? I stare blankly at the all too ordinary scene. So she they are inhabitants of the real night. Realm of nights. They look like regular people though. I don't know if regular would be a suitable word uh, to describe them. But but speaking from biological point of view, they are regular human beings like us. So they are humans, okay. Well, just from looking at them, it does seem that the way. There's nothing strange at all about these students who are chatting happily as they enter. What's different about them is the uniform they wear. They are very, 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 very. I can spot anything else other than that. So they live in a separate world from us. And if the night falls but the bell doesn't ring, they won't come. Ah, it helps that you caught on quickly. I see. Michi, Michi, do you understand what's going on? I understand that I don't understand anything at all. Also, her face doesn't show any particular expressions. <laughs> <laughs> as she watches our puzzlement. She doesn't look disappointed by our slowness on the uptake, nor does she look like she's given us up as hopeless. She's more mysterious than I thought. Ah, senpai, good morning! Oh, Bonjour, ce soir. What's your name, Sherry? Keep calm. I'm, I'm talking to Lady. Please stay quiet. I'm talking with her. Also with her. Well, okay, I'll continue. Okay, sorry, uh, lady. I have to, you know. She's accepting me. <laughs> look, look, she's, she's smiling at me. Um... Well, wish she was also smiling at us, but on her own way. Mm -hmm. Oh, why she is doing definitely. Good morning, for uh, morning, Furuyamashi san. Furuyamashi san. Furuyamashi san. Furuyamashi san. Furuyamashi san. Shishigatani greets a girl who runs up to her. I guess they are acquainted. Um. We go for, for, as always, as I said before, this time we don't uh, try both options. We go for the good one, because we're gonna find, uh, through the good one, we're gonna find all the in info, we're gonna get all the informations anyway. So, we are gentlemen, so we greet her. Me lady. Morning. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Ohio. Good morning. Uh, we are a bit lost, but we, uh, but we greet her as well for Hi. now. Hi, Good morning, Tito. She greets us enthusiastically in return. It's such a normal conversation that I don't know how to be. Furuyamachi Neko-san, one-year-old. It's Furuyamachi Neko-san, first year. By the way, uh, she said Hajime Mashte. That's nice to meet you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I'm learning uh, 
uh, fourth language now it's Japanese so throughout internet you know there are websites etc etc it's pretty interesting very cool language you should try it it's for sure well um, uh, nice to meet you my name's Neko <laughs> it's written as sleeping child but I'm definitely awake right now uh, um, Neko san Neko san okay Koka Michiru also first year me too He's a model. Let me introduce myself. Karasuma Kotaro. You don't need to remember that. Omaru. Manmaru. Round. Yep, I think it's cute. <laughs> Isn't that great, Omaru? It's not. <laughs> it's your opinion, interesting. Are they now? Senpai, what's with that complicated look on your face? It's nothing. She looks away. <laughs> you seemed like you were in a hurry. Did something happen? But that my friend lost her notebook again. If you put in a request, I can help you look for her. Okay, um, well, if you really can find it, we will ask for your help again. After making a quick bow, Furiyomas. Furuyomachi san is. Furuyamachi san, I guess. A few minutes ago, I just said the name Furuyamachi san. Furuyamachi san, for me. Neko san. What Neko san of? Yeah. Uh, Furuya something san looks at Omaru and me. Her expression brightens a moment later, as if a light bulb's turned on inside her head. <laughs> I've got it! I get it now! They are wearing the same uniform, so they are also part of the Bure. Boo. Boo. Bureo. Or something or other, right? Thanks for all your hard work. Ah, I have to get going. Hey, I'll see you later. Buruya san? I get the feeling that I'm off. Runs off while waving her hand. Oh. What did she mean by the Burea for something or other? The, bur the Burea for the investigation of special affairs. Special affairs? What's that? As its name applies, it is a squad that investigates and resolves special incidents that occur within the academy. Special. So, like that mirror. Yes. Isn't that a bit too special? I agree with your opinion, but it can't be helped. She gives us the curt reply. Omaru and I are speechless. More specifically, our job is to resolve in incidents pertaining to magic. Magic? Now then. Now then, let me pose a question now. What do you suppose is the reason why you have witnessed all of these events thus far? Yes. Well, Omaru wants it to be the work of a tofu servant. <laughs> that's not. That doesn't even make sense. Unfortunately, it is not the work of a phantom. She replies, she is seriously. I guess she doesn't take jokes that well. 
or maybe she doesn't trust us at this point. As usual, her inner feelings do not appear on her fine face, making it hard to read her thoughts. So basically, we were assigned to that squad that investigates magical stuff. You finally understand. Yes. We don't want to accept it, but we don't have a choice. Still, <laughs> the principal sending us off to something like that with such a big smile on her face. I don't know whether to be surprised or sad. Shishigadani looks at us. Did she believe that this she believed that this was a normal school? I'm sorry to say that, but your expectations will not be met. And states that with a straight face. Uh, I school them. You read through different words during the day. I, I can't read that first. So cool. Was that the intro? I mean, do we have the core information now? And that was so I mean about the game, so that was the intro about the game and now comes the real game, could it be? I love those songs. Anime songs are always amazing. So nice. She's blushing. Love story, maybe. Could it be that there's a love story between us and her? Or her, maybe? Who knows? Amazing, amazing. So, so good. So nice. Like it. I still don't fully grasp what's going on. Mm, yeah, me neither. Ano, Ushio -san. Ushio -san, could you explain a bit more? I refuse. I'm quite busy myself. Hey, wait, what are we supposed to do then? Please head to the library. Huh? The library? Goodbye. Uh, wait! She, she left. <laughs> she has no intention at all of getting along with us, does she? Very cool. I'm amazed, I'm amazed. This game is cool. I'm excited about this game. To the next episode, Leyline. That's very cool. Also. I like it. <laughs> Where did I put my notebook? Oh, that's the friend from 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 uh, Neko-san. Yeah, that's that's her. That's not it. That's not this either. Huh? Pocket watch. She's Why is this in my bag? Mayumi! Mayumi! You're going to be late for our next, next class. Wait, there was something weird in my bag. What? what is it? Maybe it's a present for someone? Present? I guess that's possible. It would be weird for someone to pick the wrong bag. And it's sitting on top of my desk like this. Mayumi, 
Miami, we are going without you. Ah, uh, 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 sorry, I'm... <laughs> notebook, notebook. Ah, there it is. Wait for me. And she got her notebook. Episode 2, A Clockwork. <laughs> this is exciting. It's cool. It's finally over. I stretch my arms out as I stand up from a chair. The other students are chatting away as they leave their seats as well. Michi, did you fall asleep in the middle? You were just seeing things. Really? Really now? Were you listening to what the teachers had to say? Um. Well, it felt like that inspirational speech was dragging on forever. You weren't listening at all. I can't help it, that class makes me really sleepy. Saying that I survey the room, this magnificent looking classroom is actually shameful. I never expected there to be something like this here. Don't places, don't places like this make you feel nervous? No, really. I see, so that's why you were able to fall asleep. <laughs> you were nervous, Nora? It feels like if I don't pay attention, I'll incur the wrath of God. Huh? What type is the rumor like that? The girls standing next to us turns our way with her eager eyes. So, Ah, uh, Kurodani-san. She's Kurodani Maya, one of our classmates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Since she's uh, been the center of attention among the girls from the day from day one, I somehow managed to remember her name. Peeking out from behind her is another female student who looks a bit fragrant. If I remember correctly, your name uh, is Yoshida Suara. Uh, it's just how I personally feel, it's not a rumor or a legend or hmm. And here I thought I had a good school. School? <laughs> the school is pretty strange, isn't it? There are probably tons of interesting rooms floating around. Oh, like what? Ah, her eyes. <laughs> like she counts off her finger. Uh, she counts off on her fingers as she talks. Her expression says that she's extremely excited. <laughs> It said that one of the staircases in the dorms has a different number of steps each time you try to count them. That's a pretty common one. That there's a kid with a bar cut wearing a red skirt living in the girls' washroom on the first floor? What? I think I've heard that somewhere before too. But it's a boy. Why would it be a boy? Who knows? Maybe he's one of those cross dressers. Huh. Hmm? Huh? What's a cross dresser? If you don't know that, what she's talking about, don't worry about it. <laughs> Why is someone like that living in the guest washroom? He must be perfect. <laughs> I think he's on a whole other level from your everyday perfect. Ah. They said that the principal's main body is actually that ermine that's wrapped around her neck. It can't be true since I've heard both of them speak. Really? I guess there's a thousand for them. It would be scary if it were true. <laughs> so 
Speaking of scary, I've heard that they are ghosts too. Or they are both. They are both pretty, very, pretty fast getting. They are both getting pretty fast scary. I see a couple. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they're so sweet. Yashida and the Maru both will say, Oh, come on. They are so sweet. There's a story about people seeing a white figure rushing by them at, after school around the time when everyone's going back to the town. <laughs> It's still pretty bright after school though, isn't that too early for ghosts to Coming out early doesn't stop them from wandering around when it's get dark, right? Once oh, sorry, that was her, sorry. Once it gets dark, but when that happens to school... ...turns into that other world. As if thinking the same thing, Omaru grimaces and looks away. By the way, I always went to Omaru's ear so that the two girls don't hear. They don't know about what happens to the school at night, do they? They shouldn't. Ushio-san mentioned that the regular students don't know about it. There's also a rule saying that after returning to the dorms, you're not allowed to go outside no matter what. That's true. I'll have to be careful not to let it slip out. It's not like I'm forbidden from mentioning it, but if I tell people about something like that, they'll just think that I'm insane. Hey, who's on trouble, dude? <laughs> it's me, I have to lock up. Okay. Let's get going then. And this is our call, damn. Oh, the, oh, this game is woo, so interesting. That's so interesting. So I don't love it, damn. It's, it's nice. Oh, what about you, ladies and gentlemen? Do you like it? Oh, what about you? How you like it? Tell me. And well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end this episode right here. Thank you very so much for watching. If you liked it, like it, share it, subscribe, and don't leave anything out. Too, don't leave anything out as well. And as always, remember, dreams can trust so what you to do. Just believe in you. And as always. Watch some anime. Watch some anime. Oh, if I, I got uh, again some new enemies on there. I just. Mm, amazing. Enemies are amazing. Watch some enemies. Enjoy.